My commute to work was an hour and a half out of my day I would spend in my car. I used to have to fly literally a million miles a year. You add that up, that's a lot of wasted time. My commute to work was actually quite laborious. I was living in London. I would have to walk to catch the tube, and then I'd be squished on the tube like every single other person stuck in the rat race. And then I had to repeat it all on the way home, always in rush hour. It's exciting. Every day is a new adventure. Ten years ago, I never thought I'd be able to do this, but I can actually, we can be in the middle of the Arctic Circle in Greenland and doing our job. I would consider myself a digital nomad. Um, somebody who has the freedom to work anywhere in the world, uh, where we want, when we want, based on digital tools. People need access to a computer and the internet to have an office, and not so much to real estate. It's no longer about nine to five, it's about results. The more freedom my team had, the more work they got done. I do believe that you can build your work and your business around your lifestyle. I basically live out of my suitcase, travel the world, and run my online business with the help of a virtual team around the world. I've been traveling the world for over 10 years straight, and everything I own comes with me. The Eco Roamer is a huge honking truck that we live in the back of, and uh, it's also the global headquarters of my, uh, my company, Infant Monkeys. I left my traditional job when I had my son. Instead of going back, I wrote my goals and decided what my work-life balance would look like and what was best for me and my family, and that's how I came up with being a digital nomad and being able to work for myself. It gives me the opportunity to work when I like to work, and I can go surfing when I like to surf. And it shouldn't be that only the most innovative companies embrace these models. I think that 10 years from now, it absolutely will be the norm. There are so many reasons why this is a great way to work. Freedom in my world means buying experiences, not stuff. And that makes you feel rich in ways that money can never ever buy.